The Philips company was founded in 1891, where the company started producing carbon filament lamps and other electrotechnical products. Over the next century, Philips started manufacturing a wide range of products, including television sets, video recorders, medical diagnostic machinery, and lighting. Today, Philips is one of the largest electronics companies in the world, employing around 105,000 people across more than 60 countries. We sat down with Philips CEO, Franz Van Oten. He spoke about the challenges of doing business in the emerging markets. First of all, I agree with you that emerging markets will be very important over the, over the next years. Uh, and we take a long-term strategy towards uh, these markets. So even if there's a slowdown near term, that doesn't deter us. We stay very committed to these markets. Uh, it's very important to have a great brand, uh, to be trusted, uh, because there's all these issues around reaching the customer, reaching the consumer. Uh, so Philips has a fantastic brand equity. Um, secondly, you need to reach emerging markets with a so-called locally relevant proposition. Uh, and this is a mistake that sometimes global companies make. We all are eager to have efficiency and therefore we adopt global platforms, global solutions. But global solutions are not always the right solutions in the local context. So we talk about global and local. And the, the local relevance of our solutions is extremely important. Uh, therefore we need to do research in the local markets. We have a research hub, for example, in, in Nairobi, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, because then we better understand what the society locally needs and how we, for example, can address health challenges in rural markets. Let's first talk about which emerging markets are the largest, right? That's China, India, and I would have to say Africa, because Africa will have two billion people uh, in 20 years from now. Um, whether and which one are the most lucrative remains to be seen because large markets can also be very, very competitive as we can see uh -huh. uh, in China, uh, which has of course uh, developed phenomenally. Um, there will always be local competitors in these emerging markets that operate at very low cost. Uh, for a company like Philips, it means that we need to innovate to offer a superior value proposition, uh -huh. uh, which is locally relevant. And, um, we have certainly China as the number one priority on our list, but we are already deeply investing in India and in Africa to anticipate also that the middle class growth and so on will happen uh, in those markets. There's a lot of legislation, a lot of habits, uh, uh, local companies that get pref preferred treatment. All of this needs to be taken into account. Um, I think the best way to, to deal with it is to try to act as a local company in those markets and to really understand uh, what are the opportunities and, and how to blend in and collaborate in the local context. Well, we have, we, 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 we are, I think we're all familiar with the reverse engineering uh, ID and uh, it's just the fact that emerging markets that perhaps have lower healthcare budgets come up with more cost-effective solutions than maybe Western markets would. Uh, and we have seen many innovations coming out of our labs in India that then can be adopted globally uh, rather than that we export expensive European and American equipment into, into Indian markets.